Today, as India celebrates Republic Day and the birth of the extraordinary constitution that established your nation as the biggest sovereign democracy in the world, I want to offer my sincere greetings to a country that is very close to my heart. I was hugely looking forward to joining you for this important occasion and the kind invitation of my friend Prime Minister Modi. Alas, our common struggle against COVID has kept me in London. All over the world, this virus is compelling people to stay apart, including family and friends in Britain and India, who form what Prime Minister Modi has called the living bridge between us. As I speak, our two countries are working side by side to develop, produce and distribute vaccines that will help to free humanity from the pandemic. And thanks to the combined efforts of Britain, India and many other nations, we are on the road to success against COVID. So I look forward to visiting India later this year, strengthening our friendship and striving for the quantum leap in our relationship that Prime Minister Modi and I have both pledged to achieve. But for now, let me wish everyone in India, as well as those celebrating here in Britain, a very happy Republic Day.